If you or a parent you're helping to care for are struggling with mobility, we have some suggestions. Joining me now is David Chan with Senior Helpers. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Good to be here. So we're not just talking about like the old and the elderly. We're no. talking about anybody over 65. Why Correct. is functional fitness especially important for everyone over 65? It's important because we want to ensure that we maintain cardiovascular health, um, possibly lower the risk of diabetes, um, lower cholesterol, improve muscle development. But more importantly, it's important to maintain, maintain our independence, um, stay mobile, and continue doing the things that we want to do, live a good quality of life. Yeah, and balance too. I mean, when Absolutely. we talk about like building mm -hmm. muscle and, and keep maintaining muscle mass throughout your life, balance yes. is so huge because falls can sure. really be deadly for that specific mm -hmm. age group over 65. So what are some of the activities that people can do to stay fit? Well, we can simply, um, well, we have a couple of exercises today, but um, walking is very important. Um, you don't have to do 10,000 steps anymore. Yep. You can do 4,000 steps or, you know, depending on your condition. So you can walk around the house, you can walk around the neighborhood, whatever is appropriate for you. Yeah, so you, you don't need a gym, you don't mm -hmm. need a lot no, of equipment. Go ahead and tell me, what can we do with just a chair? This reminds me, remember that show, Fit, Sit and Be oh, yeah. Fit? This yeah. is what mm -hmm. this reminds me of, mm -hmm. but, it, but it, it's, it is helpful. So what sure. are some of the things we can do just from yeah. sitting? So, so we can do a couple upper body exercises and a couple lower body, but. These bands, by the yeah. way, they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. I, yeah, I they're, they're rather yeah. inexpensive, but mm -hmm. the first one we'll demonstrate is a bicep curl. So what we'll want to do is just put it under a foot and kind of wrap it around. And then we could just simply just pull back that way. Yeah. Um, and then we can practice some back, back exercises by just, just pulling back that way. Ah, uh, just that little bit of shift and you're using different muscle groups. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, Those are great. But grip strength is important for overall health. Um, it could be an indicator for um, cardiovascular disease and things like that. So it's important to, 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 to pay attention to that. Um, then we can also do some leg exercises. So standing on one leg, mm -hmm. we'll want to try to do stand, stand on one leg for about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, we can shift to the, the next leg. Then also to prevent falls, um, it's important to practice heel raises. So a lot of times we may be walking and we may, we may fall over forward or backwards. So we want to practice some heel raises. Yeah. This would help you to better be able to catch yourself correct, if you felt correct. that fall. Or if you were to fall backwards, some, some toe raises. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but those are, those are a couple of good exercises. But, you know, but like I said, just overall walking, you can't, you can't beat the benefits of walking. Sure. Um, but with the standing leg raise, you know, as we're walking, we're spending a lot of time on one leg. So we want to do, we want to practice that a lot more. Yeah, but I do like this just because we're talking about, you know, we're still in the triple digits. We're still yes. going to be in the triple digits for days. And then it can be dangerous Correct. for people to also be outside walking. So these are great things that you can do inside your home. It doesn't require a lot of equipment. No. Are there any exercises, though, that you should avoid? doing so you want to pre you want to try to avoid any strenuous exercises that that you may not be ready for um, weights that are too heavy um, anything that, that that may cause a fall risk um, so we at senior helpers um, we we can provide caregivers to go out to people's homes to ensure that they're performing their exercises safely that um, if a therapist provides them with a with an exercise regimen that we can make sure that they're doing it safely and they don't fall and kind of and, and, and watching to make sure that they're doing the exercises properly. And, and providing the motivation for them to do so. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good point. All yeah. right. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining me for this live interview. And we me. will definitely clip this, put it online in case you missed any of those exercises. You can go to clicktohouston.com slash scene at seven for more.